हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू आई एफ एस एंड वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अनादर इंफॉर्मेटिव और एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू इंग्लिश लिटरेचर सो दिस सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू बिकॉज इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज ऑफ ब्रिटिश एरा एज वेल एज इट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट इन ओवरऑल इंग्लिश लिटरेचर दैट इज एलिजा बीथन एज सो एलिजा बीथन एज इज अ वेरी मच इंटरेस्टिंग एलिजा बेथन एज इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम दी यू जी सी नेट परस्पेक्टिव एज वेल ओके सो यस वेरी गुड इवनिंग वेरी गुड इवनिंग दीपक हेलो दीपा गुड इवनिंग बादशाह सो यस सो एज आई वॉज सेंग टू यू दैट यर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एलिजा बीथन एज सो टिल येस्टडे वी टॉक अबाउट द एज ऑफ रिवाइवल सो एज ऑफ रिवाइवल इज अनादर इम्पॉर्टेंट सो इन एज ऑफ रिवाइवल वॉट वी स्टडीड दैट देर आर सो मेनी अदर रिलेटेड टू देर आर सो मेनी इवेंट्स हैपेंड हिस्टोरिकल पॉलिटिकल सोशल सोशल इवेंट्स हैपेंड एट द टाइम ऑफ at at that age right uh, in the 13th and 14th uh, 14th and 15th age so here we are going to talk about the further that is elizabethan age but before we talk about elizabethan age i want to share something with you all so here uh, it's uh, i want to thank you all for making 5k subscribers thank you so much all my students for for such a um, such a support that you have love and support you have showed to us that is why now we are 5k family so <clears throat> this is this wasn't this was not possible uh, because uh, <clears throat> this would have not been possible if uh, you would have not been supported okay so bahut hi acha support dikhaya hai bahut pyar dikhaya aap logo ne aur aapke bina ye bilkul bhi possible nahi hota hamari taraf se isiliye thank you so much for it and uh, keep supporting keep sharing this uh, videos with all of your friends ताकि सारे के सारे आपके जो भी और दोस्त हैं दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यू जी सी नेट उन्हें भी आ, हमारे इस लेक्चर्स के बारे में पता चल सके एंड उनकी प्रिपरेशन भी आप ही की तरह बेहतर हो पाए ओके सो हमेशा हमारा यही मोटो रहता है यही हम विश करते रहते हैं व्हाट न्यू वी कैन कम अप विथ एंड व्हाट न्यू वी कैन गिव यू यस सो दिस इज वेरी आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू शेयर दिस विथ यू ऑल बिकॉज इट वॉज पॉसिबल ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ योर सपोर्ट येस सो थैंक यू सो मच ऑल माई स्टूडेंट्स Yes, thank you so much, Disha, Revti, Deepak. Thank you so much, and this was possible only because of you. So these are the uh, divided efforts from my as well as yours. So as I always tell you, ki a uh, teacher. कब सक्सेसफुल बनता है या टीचर का जो पढ़ा जो भी उसको पढ़ाना है वो कब इफेक्टिव बनता है ओनली वेन अ स्टूडेंट लर्न फ्रॉम द टीचर ये सो इट्स अ टू वे प्रोसेस हम पढ़ाते तो है लेकिन जब तक आपकी तरफ से हमें रिस्पॉन्स नहीं आता हमारे पढ़ाने का कोई मतलब नहीं है सो so, आप लोग हमें रिकग्नेशन देते हैं आप लोगों की वजह से आज हम लोग यहाँ पे हैं एंड आई एफ एस की फैमिली आई एफ एस यू जी सी नेट जो हमारा प्लेटफॉर्म है अब वो 5K हो चुका है सो थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच प्राजू थैंक यू सो मच अदिति कीप सपोर्टिंग कीप शेयरिंग कीप लविंग अज द वे यू डू कीप लाइकिंग द चैनल सो दैट वी कैन ग्रो मोर ओके एंड हमारी ये जो फैमिली है जिसके आप कोर मेंबर्स है ऐसी हमारी फैमिली और बढ़ती जाए ओके okay? सो यस एंड जैसे कि आपको पता है हमारा कोर्स ऑलरेडी स्टार्ट हो चुका है uh, अगर आपने अभी तक एनरोल नहीं किया है अभी भी चांस है आप एनरोल कर लीजिए क्योंकि आपको जो हम आपको प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं रिलेटेड टू यू जी सी नेट इंग्लिश वो आपको और कहीं भी नहीं मिलने वाला है सो so, uh, हमेशा याद रखिए वी आर गिविंग यू एक्स्ट्रा which you will not get anywhere else so take the benefit of this extra and qualify your exams because hum chahte hain ki aapka qualification ho 
एंड uh, uh, आप एग्जाम क्वालिफाई करें एंड यू विल अचीव योर गोल्स ओके सो दिस इज अनादर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर विथ यू एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल डोंट फर्गेट टू शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स टेल ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल ताकि उनका ही बेनिफिट होने वाला है इससे एंड वही uh, इससे uh, जो भी है पढ़ने वाले हैं राइट right? Now we will come back and look at the uh, important topic. So here we are studying British literature, specifically uh, Elizabethan age. Okay, I hope you all are clear with the screen. So Elizabethan age, देखिए कब start हुआ था कब से कब तक? So it started in 1550 and it lasted in 16 AD. Okay, 1600 AD. Uh, अब हम इसके related uh, जो हमारा Elizabethan age है, उससे related हम history देखने वाले हैं. What is the history? History of Elizabethan age. Uh, Elizabeth first जिन्होंने uh, इस एज को स्टार्ट किया वो हमने ऑलरेडी देखा है जिसमें हमने एक और चीज स्टडी की थी दैट इस एज को हम गोल्डन एरा कहते हैं यस सो ये बात आप हमेशा ध्यान में रखिए क्यों गोल्डन एरा कहते हैं क्योंकि लोगों को बहुत ज्यादा लिटरेचर के बारे में पता चलने लगा था बहुत कुछ वो सीखने लगे थे दैट इज वाई एंड बहुत लिटरेचर को रिकग्नेशन मिलने लगा था सो दैट वाज अ वेरी क्रूशियल थिंग फॉर ऑल दी आर्टिस्ट तो जो भी राइटर्स थे पोएट्स थे ऑथर्स थे उन सबको अच्छा रिकग्नेशन मिलने लगा था इसीलिए हम आ, हमारे ये जो भी एलिजाबीथन जो एज है उसे गोल्डन एरा कहते हैं ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फॉर दी हिस्ट्री वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू लुक एट दी बैकग्राउंड देन वॉट इज द थीम ऑफ द एलिजाबीथन एज एज वेल एज दी स्टाइल दैट वॉज यूज इन दिस एज ओके सो एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट दिस एज इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज रेनेसो okay so this age is called as renaissance now what is the meaning of renaissance so basically renaissance is a french word which uh, actually means it is basically it is uh, the period from the late 14th and it lasted till 15 so it started in late 14th century and it lasted till 15th century okay and uh, it also so when people started uh, celebrating human being okay they started enjoying life so that was the age so you can call it renaissance means the change reformation so you will find lot of change you will find lot of um uh, what you can call it uh, reformation at this age okay so that is why this age is called as the age of uh, the renaissance age okay so where so renaissance humanism is another important term used here so what is the meaning of humanism so basically uh, humanism is a uh, man has beauty and uh, dignity and it held that life should be based on humanity okay so it is humanism i'm extremely sorry so basically what this age taught the people is that uh, every uh, human every person has some dignity in it hai na so uh, hum kehte hain ki have some humanity in you what is the meaning of humanity matlab ek जो ह्यूमन होता है उसके अंदर कुछ इमोशंस होते हैं उसके अंदर कुछ डिग्निटी होती है उसके अंदर कुछ परसिवरेंसेस होते हैं उसके अंदर कुछ ऐसी क्वालिटीज होती हैं जो आपको और किसी भी लिविंग बीइंग में नहीं देखने मिलेगी और ये सब कुछ एक इंसान ने अच्छे से उसे यूज करना चाहिए उसे यूटिलाइज करना चाहिए एंड अ पर्सन शुड चेरिश दैट okay so that is why it is called as renaissance humanism so earlier i don't know whether people so people actually knew that 
that humanism is there but they actually did not know what should be called this kind of term okay so uh, in renaissance period that term was developed that name was given to this kind of behavior okay so this was another important thing then uh, yes as i told you that uh, people uh, celebrated and yes, another important thing I want to add here is that uh, people actually uh, started or people actually uh, started refusing the churches, their rules, their regulations and they started questioning the churches okay that why it has to be like this so because people started learning a lot people started knowing the things a lot so they wanted logic behind everything they wanted to know the science behind everything so then uh, they started questioning it that why it has to be like this why it should not be like this so when so where they got the correct answers for their questions they supported that and where they got the uh, where they did not get the answer for their questions they started opposing that situations okay they started opposing those things so that was again important thing you should know related to the renaissance age that is the elizabethan age okay then uh, as i told you people started celebrating people started celebrating human being what is the meaning of human being here? Means they started enjoying life. So this you have to remember that they actually started living the life. Earlier they were under pressure. Not exactly under pressure but they did not know what to do with their lives. Or why this life is like this. So they were just spending the days. They were not actually living those days. But in the renaissance age they actually started living the, that, uh, their moments. Okay. So vahi se ye baat jo abhi aap dekhte ho ki we also enjoy our life. We enjoy what we do. Yes, so ye sari cheeze humne kaha se seekhi hai, ya humare purva jone kaha se seekhi hai, from the renaissance age, okay, and from that age you will see that there are so many developments happened, because people actually got the motive, yes, earlier that motive was missing somewhere, that is why uh, the actual uh, literature was flourished, the actual literature was started from the Elizabethan age because again Elizabeth uh, in the Elizabethan age uh, the people started getting lot of exposure uh, poets writers authors they started getting lot of exposure lot of recognition okay and they also started getting lot of resources for their writings so for example uh, just a printing press ka, um, uh, invention ho chuka tha. so because of the printing press they started writing more because they knew that their work is going to be spread all over that people are going to read their work so then they started writing for the people okay earlier they were writing for themselves for their happiness but later on they also thought of spreading it to the uh, amongst people yes so that is why that was another important thing that uh, happened and that flourished amongst in the elizabethan age amongst the poets amongst the authors or the writers okay so uh, then you will also see that because of plague distance from god happened Now, what is this distance from God? Now, why there was distance from God? What was the re uh, reason that uh, people actually distant themselves from God? Because of the plague situation. You might have seen that earlier there was 100 year war. Plus, there was a, a plague. The disease that spread all over the England. So at that age, people actually thought that we have been believing in God. We thought that God is controlling everything. God is doing everything. Because churches used to teach this. 
that everything is done by God, everything is observed by God and in everything, whatever do, there is some role of God, okay. So, then people started questioning this, that if uh, there is God, then why the God did not do anything at the time of the plague? When so many people were dying, were suffering badly from the disease, where was the God? Why he did not come to uh, rescue the people? Why he did not come to save the people? Yes, so that is why this uh, people started uh, keeping distance from God. Okay, then uh, another important thing that is the sameness is the mother of the distinct. Okay, it is the uh, a very famous quote that uh, you have to remember. Then there is also another that is uh, uh, you have to remember uh, about the wait. Sorry. So uh, yes, another important thing. Now you should remember about the Elizabeth. Okay. So Elizabeth was virgin queen. Okay, Elizabeth was called as virgin queen. What is the meaning of virgin queen? Why she was called as virgin queen? Because she was not married to anyone. Okay, she was single and she did not marry or had any kind of physical relations with any man. Okay, so that is why she is called as the virgin queen. Got it? Then a uh, printing press was invented and Columbus discovered something. What did Columbus discover? Discovered what? You have to find out and tell it to me. That uh, it, So Columbus discovered something at the time of Elizabethan age. What did Columbus discover that you have to find it out and tell it to me in the comment section, okay? So, uh, yes, yeah, so these were the important things that happened at the time of Renaissance period or at the time of Elizabethan period. Now, we are going to talk about some of the popular Bible translations, okay? So, these are some of the tra Bible translations which are famous from that age. The first one is called as the Wycliffe Bible which we have already studied about. Okay, first one is Wycliffe Bible. Which one is the second? You can also contribute in this. You can also tell it to me if you know some. Second one is Gutenberg's Bible. Which is the third one? Can anybody tell it to me? Third Bible kaun sa hai? This also I have already told it to you. It is Tyndale's Bible. It is Tyndale's Bible. The fourth important Bible is, um, sorry, Covex, uh, Cove, uh, Covex Dale Bible. Sorry. The next important Bible is a Geneva Bible. Okay, Geneva, this is N. I hope it is clear. I'll write it again. So, what is it called as? It is Geneva Bible. Okay. The next important Bible is called as Bishop's Bible. Then we also have um, King James Version of the Bible. Then 
Another important Bible is the Revised Bible. Revised version that you can find it. Plus, you can also find a Holman's Bible, Holman's Standard Bible. Okay. And the last one is, uh, uh, sorry, these are the only Bibles that are famous. Okay. So, actually, I was a little bit confused between the King James Version and then, then it's okay. So, yeah, continue, uh, continuing the part. So, these are the nine important Bibles, which are very important from the exam perspective, as well as uh, these are the Bibles which are related to English literature. So, whenever you are studying for English literature, uh, even if you are not preparing for the, any exam, do read this Bible or at least get knowledge about these Bibles, okay? Uh, I know you won't get much time to read each and every Bible, but at least get knowledge about each and every Bible because it is very important to know all these Bibles, okay? And uh, these Bibles are very much informative. These Bibles tell you a lot about uh, the culture, the society and what actually were the thoughts while they were writing these Bibles, okay? So, then you will find uh, everyone's different uh, perspective of the Bible. So, in Wycliffe's Bible, you will find uh, Wycliffe's perspective, okay, while he was writing the Bible. So, he basically translated it. So, when he translated it, what he thought in his mind, how he basically translated it. So, everything related to that you can study for the Bibles, okay? Am I clear with this? Does anybody have any doubt related to this part? Shall we move ahead and look at the important poets of this age? Okay, can we look at the, um, okay, great. So, now let's uh, talk about Ed, uh, Edmund Spencer, okay. So, now Edmund Spencer's uh, time or uh, lifespan was from uh, 1553 to 1599, okay. So, this was his age span. And what he actually did was, uh, so Edmund Spencer was the leading non-dramatic poet of Elizabethan age. Was a leading non-dramatic poet, okay, of the Elizabethan age. So, you have to remember this as well, okay. Second important thing that you have to remember about Edmund Spencer is that he was born in London and he educated in Cambridge. So, they might also ask you an exam that who was born in London and which uh, Elizabethan poet was born in London and he was educated from Cambridge or where was he educated from? From where did uh, Edmund Spencer took his education? That, that time you should know that he was born in London and he took his education from Cambridge. Okay. The next important thing you should know about uh, Edmund Spencer is that he was official in the English administration. So, 
तो यू कैन सी योर स्टूडेंट्स दैट दो दे हैड सम डिफरेंट प्रोफेशन दे वर पैशनेट अबाउट लिटरेचर दे वर पैशनेट अबाउट राइटिंग समथिंग एंड दैट इज वाई दे परस्यूड दैट थिंग सो योर यू कैन सी दैट ही वॉज Uh, 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 an officer or he was an official in the english administration so he was he might be earning quite well he will be settled that time he will be happy in his uh, work but still he had passion for teaching which made him write such a beautiful poem such a beautiful works yes which we even today we read them and we inspire from those yes and we are so influenced with those writings so uh, even uh, you have to remember this that no matter what uh whatever your passion is you have to go for it okay so all these authors or from the literature what we actually understand is that that how uh, we have to actually look at the literature we have to understand it from all perspectives right so uh, yes this is another thing about edmund spencer you have to remember then the next important thing is that so uh, basically um, administration english administration of ireland this was missing okay and uh, then now we are going to talk about his poems so uh, he uh, there there he wrote his magnificent epic romance that is the fairy queen so also remember that um this um fa the fairy queen is the magnificent work written by edmund spencer okay then another important works written by spencer are so his poem the shepherd's calendar okay this is another important work written by edmund spencer and he was a great lyric poet so remember this as well what was he he was a great lyric poet yes and uh, he also wrote so his this uh, the shepherd's calendar is basically about the uh, spiritual and the uh, religious aspect okay of england he talks about the religious and spiritual uh, rights in a religious or spiritual context okay i hope it is clear to everyone plus uh, so your and his prose a uh, view of the present state of ireland is all about treaties on the anglo uh, irish conflict so then another so i'll write it here another important work is view on the present state of ireland so what this talks about is it basically talks about the uh, it basically talks about the um, treaties or the conflict which was going on between the anglos and the irish people okay so he talks about that conflict in his work or in his prose on the uh, view on the present state of ireland clear okay great so uh, yes these are the important works these are the important things you should remember whenever you are talking whenever you are discussing or whenever you are studying about edmund spencer got it i hope it is clear to everyone great great so uh, yes this was it for today's session i hope you have understood the background of elizabethan age so basically 
ओके सो सोनम इज सेंग इट इज टू हार्ड टू रिमेंबर सो सोनम डोंट थिंक दैट इट इज वेरी हार्ड टू रिमेंबर बिकॉज इफ यू सो इवन अर्लियर आई यूज टू कंसिडर ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर एज वेरी डिफिकल्ट सब्जेक्ट बट वेन यू विल स्टार्ट रीडिंग अबाउट इट वेन यू विल एक्चुअली गेट इन टू द टॉपिक दैट टाइम यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ ब्यूटिफुल दिस लिटरेचर इज एंड यू विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग इंटरेस्ट इन इट एंड इन एंड इन द things that you get interest those things will become very much easier for you okay so that time it won't be uh, you won't feel it difficult okay so remember this that uh, the first of all you should develop interest in that subject so as soon as you develop the interest the topic eventually becomes interesting and it becomes easy okay so uh, do this follow this start reading about it start learning whatever i am telling it to you go in the deep so here in this sessions we don't get that much of time to uh, explain and to uh, talk everything in detail so go uh, in detail see what is there in the shepherd's calendar why he was called as lyric poet uh, which are the famous lyric poetry he has written then also read that poetry then you will start gradually you will start developing interest in that topic okay and you will not find the topic difficult so uh, i guess um uh, you have understood what we are talking about what i told you in today's session so we actually talked about the elizabethan age which was also called as the golden era because there was lot of uh, transformation happened with there was lot of reformation happened there was people who actually started learning okay so when they started learning they learned about everything so they started actually they started getting to know about the world which was very much uh, fascinating for them them which was very much interesting for them and they started gradually develop interest uh, in the um, literature as well as they started living the life they started enjoying the life okay so which uh, also uh, developed uh, the uh, whole era okay and then the actual development of the literature started i hope uh, it is clear to everyone and if you have any doubts if you have any queries you can definitely let me know and also don't forget to solve the uh, contest questions which are there on the app so go in the app download the app register yourself and give the contest for free the contests are for free you can give the contest and you can also view the answers you can also view the solutions of the answers which is in the form of the video so jisme i have explained each and every answer properly and in a detailed manner so if your answer is wrong so if you have given the quiz and if you think that my answer is wrong you will also get to know that where you went wrong what is the correct answer and why that answer is the correct so that you can rectify your mistake and you can actually uh learn from your mistakes and you won't follow or you won't make the same mistake at the time of the exams okay so and as you all know that pre practice makes man perfect so do practice the questions n number of questions we are giving for you so study uh, the lecture in the live session and then practice the questions in our app okay so uh, this is it we will stop here for now and we will meet in tomorrow session at the same time on the same channel until the time we meet next happy learning and have a great day ahead thank you so much you have been a very great audience